this one. <laughs> awesome. What if someone sees us? We'll just tell them we're cops. Good idea. Where did the inspiration come from for this? Um, it's based on a dream that I had as a kid uh, growing up. I'm The film is shot in my hometown, so um, I had this recurring dream where I'm 10 years old. I'm in my mom's car, I'm in the passenger seat. My friend Travis is driving. We're driving around our small town, not getting in trouble, passing people we know, but no one is saying anything. And he's going faster and faster, and I'm getting more and more nervous that we're gonna get in trouble or get hurt, and then I wake up. And I always thought that was a pretty evocative image. Um, I thought maybe it could be a police car. And then I pitched it to my friend who I write with, and he was like, well, whose police car is it? And then we realized we had a movie. Sheriff, we just got a report of two kids driving a cruiser. Boys, I know you can hear me. You are in a whole lot of trouble. What we're looking at is a felony offense. Did you open up the trunk? And Kevin, you're not only an actor in this film, you're actually one of the executive producers in it. I mean, how did you get involved? I read the script, and a lot of times you read a script and you kind of have to say, okay, if here's the dialogue and here's like what the story's about. Now, there's a lot of things that could change and between this, this stuff on the page and what's going to end up on the screen, and is it hard to picture? But when I finished Cop Car, I felt like I had seen the whole movie. You know, that's the way the script reads. It's even though there's very little dialogue, the descriptive stuff that uh, John and Chris put in there is just, it makes you, it takes you into that place and puts you in that seat in the theater watching, watching the movie. And I said, well, you know, if he can, if he can put that there, then that's going to be a cool ride. There's very little dialogue in it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. was that your intention to, to act, act, have it be a little bit more physical, I guess? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to just do it as simply as possible, and no one is really speaking unless they have to. Mm -hmm. And Kevin's character, every time he opens his mouth, he's lying. Yeah. So I that's a lot yeah. of fun, too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, was that hard for you, or was it actually challenging to, I mean, not have that much dialogue? You know, the camera is such a, an amazingly beautiful tool because it sees so much deeper than the naked eye does. And if you can tell a story with a look or a, you know, a, a, a gesture or, or a way that somebody walks or, or, or talks or sounds or the, you know what I mean, all, or the, details of props and costume. If you can tell that person's story with that stuff, I think it's really kind of exciting to do as an actor. What do you say we get you home safe?